and voted to get rid of the Confederate monument. News Channel 8's Brian Hughes is in downtown Bradenton for us. And good evening. The big question remains, where will this monument wind up? Mary Delaney showed up at the Confederate monument with many American flags and signs in hand. She planned to show her support for keeping the nearly century-old monument right where it stands, but she was caught off guard when she learned the centerpiece of the courthouse grounds was going away. I am upset because this is our history. Um, people died, you know, to have our freedoms that we have today. Controversy over the structure has brewed for days. This is what democracy looks like! It came to a head with a heated protest a day ago, then through more debate today. Commissioners ultimately voted to say goodbye. Motion passes. Four, two, three. For Gregory Cruz, a member of Black Lives Matter who organized the protest, goodbye is the right word. It's a small victory, a victory nonetheless, but it's a small victory. I don't want people to to be fooled or, or to lose focus on the bigger uh, picture. County leaders are eyeing other spots in the Bradenton area where the statue could stand proudly. Veterans Memorial Park and Gamble Mansion are two places, but for Mary Delaney, it's fine right where it is. And this is this is all history. Why would you want to take that down? So what's next? The county now needs to raise $12,000 to move the monument and then decide where it will go. Reporting in Bradenton, I'm Ryan Hughes, News Channel 8.